In this video, we're going to talk about geometric series. A geometric series is a series where each term is equal to the previous term times the same value. This value is called the common ratio and is denoted by the letter R. Examples of geometric series include, uh, as shown there, 2 plus 6 plus 18 plus 54, in which case A is 2, the first term, and R is 3, the uh, amount multiplied uh, by each term to get to the next one. Another series would be negative 5 plus 10 minus 20 plus 40, etc. A is negative 5 and R is negative 2. Now the formula for the sum of the first n terms of a geometric series is shown in red. Sn equals A times R to the n minus 1 divided by R minus 1, where A is the first term of the series and R is the common ratio. N is the number of terms in the series. Now let's develop this formula. It's we're going to do it uh, in a pretty cool way. Um, first, we know that um, the first term of a, a geometric series is A, and then the next term would be A times R, and the next term would be A times R squared. We know from a previous video that the last term is A times, that the nth term is A times R to the n minus 1. So the term before that would be, you know, that term divided by r, in other words, a times r to the n minus 2. If we could somehow add up all those terms, we would have the value for uh, sn. Now let's do something pretty clever here. Let's, right underneath it, um, imagine that we wanted to know uh, the value of rsn. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take r, and we're going to distribute it to every term. And that will give us R times Sn. The reason why we're doing this will become clear in a moment. So if we wanted to know what R times Sn is, it would be uh, the sum of each one of those individual terms multiplied by R. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we're just going to push that uh, row over one spot. I'll go back one slide. And the last row... RSN equals AR plus AR squared plus AR cubed, etc. That last row is completely unchanged in this one, except we've just left a blank space. Now we're going to do something pretty ingenious. What we're going to do is we're going to subtract. Okay, so we're going to be able to say that SN minus R times SN is going to equal A plus... Now we're going to have AR minus AR, so they'll cancel out. AR squared minus AR squared, they'll cancel out. And every column will perfectly cancel out until we get to the very last one. We'll have 0 minus, remember we're subtracting each of these terms, so we'll have 0 minus AR to the n. So we'll, we'll be able to say that SN minus RSN equals a minus a times r to the n. Okay, we're going to take a couple of slides and show that a little bit more neatly, and then we'll deal with it from there. So, we do our subtraction, and every column is a zero, except for that last one and the first one. So, we end up being able to say that sn minus rsn is equal to a minus a r n a all these cancel out and then this becomes minus a r n okay now what we can do is isolate s n remember what we're trying to solve for we're actually just trying to solve what is the sum of the first n terms so we can common factor s n from the left hand side we have s n times 1 minus r and that equals a times 1 minus r to the n then what we can do is divide both sides by 1 minus r, and we'll get Sn equals a times 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. And um, we don't have to do this next step, but a lot of times what you'll see is uh, uh, people will take this formula right here. They'll multiply top and bottom by negative 1. And so when you distribute that negative 1 into the bracket in the numerator, you get negative 1 plus r to the n. When you distribute it into the denominator, you get uh, negative 1 plus r. And so ultimately what you end up with is a formula, sn equals a times r to the n minus 1 over r minus 1. Pretty ingenious. 
So suppose we wanted to determine the sum of the first 12 terms of the geometric series shown. What we would do is uh, simply say right away that a is equal to 2 and r is equal to 3. Okay, 2 is the first term and 3 is what we're multiplying to get each subsequent term. And then we'd be able to say that sn equals a times r to the n minus 1 over r minus 1. So letting n equal 12 and letting a equal 3 and letting, uh, sorry, letting a equal 2, I apologize, and letting r equal 3, we end up with uh, 531,440 as the sum of the first 12 terms. Now, uh, we can uh, also do it in the, this next case. We see that uh, we're told it's a geometric series, so we know, we know that, we know our formula will apply. Um, our a value will be 524,288, our r value will be whatever term 2 divided by term 1 is, and we see that that is 1 half. Uh, 262,144 divided by 524,288 is 1 half. But we might be curious, what does n equal? Well, the one way we can do that is to let term n equal 1 eighth. So what we're going to do now, recall that the nth term of a geometric sequence is given by this formula. Well, it works for geometric series as well. The nth term of a geometric series is also equal to ar to the n minus 1. And that's what's shown here. And we know that uh, tn is 1 eighth, and we know that a is this number here, and we know that r is a half. So in other words, we know that 1 eighth equals 524,288 times 1 half to the exponent n. We can divide both sides now by 524,288, and we end up with 1 over 4,194,304 equals 1 half to the exponent n minus 1. We recall um, our work with logarithms from earlier. n minus 1 will equal the log base 1 half of 1 over 4,194,304. And um, if we have a calculator that can handle uh, logs with base of a half, we can use that. If we don't, we can use uh, what you'll learn in grade 12 is called the change of base formula. n minus 1 equals the log of... 1 over 4,194,304 divided by the log of 1 half. Either way we do it, we see that n minus 1 is 22, or in other words, n is 23. Now, what's significant about that is that tells us that there are 23 terms in the series. We already know the a value is 524,288, and we know the r value is a half. And so now we're in a position to just uh, plug in uh, the numbers to our formula. And we see that the uh, sum of the series is 1,048,575 and 7 eighths, or in other words, 0 0.875. Now, what if we wanted to determine the sum of the first 15 terms of the geometric series shown? Well, a is negative 5, r is negative 3, because we're always multiplying negative 3 to get from one term to the next. Now, the sum of the first n terms will be a times r to the n minus 1 over r minus 1, and we plug those numbers in. And when we do that, uh, we let our calculator do much of this work, we see that the sum will be negative 17,936,135. Okay.